This is a Canadian $1 coin. What just happened? And why? Well, I let go of the coin and it fell down uh, onto the counter into the hat that I'd actually placed there so it wouldn't clatter around. I knew that it was going to do that. Why am I so sure? Because it's always done that. So I think that the common answer, the common scientific answer is uh, it did that because of the law of gravity. Okay, why is the law of gravity the law of gravity? Why is it not that when I release something it um, stays where it is, flies up, flies into a million atoms, whatever? The mind can think of an infinite number of possibilities that could befall that coin when I drop it or when I let go of it, but the one that I knew was going to happen is what happened. That's why I placed the hat there. I knew that it was going to fall into the hat. Why am I so sure? I sometimes think that the only reason why I'm sure is because that's, the way, that's what it's always done. That's what gravity always does. I use gravity every single waking second of my life. I'm subject to gravity. And I think that that has led us to some lazy habits of thinking. In other words, gravity just is. The only other answer to uh, that question is, um, boils down to essentially, the coin fell into the hat because God said so. Now, when you say gravity just is, and when you say because God said so, you're answering the question in the same way. In fact, I would almost say that it's the same answer. It's a dead end. Why is gravity? What is gravity? Gravity just is, or gravity is part of God's creation, stops all thinking right then and there. And it is a matter of faith that that's just the way it is. And it's somewhat heretical to ask why. Well, I don't personally believe in heresy. And I would like to know why the laws of physics are the laws of physics. I am not a theist. I have no religion. So I know that some people will say, because God said so. Other people will say, because. What's the difference? Thank you.